Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video I want to share with you another interesting attacking game to which I stumbled on while looking through old Soviet chess magazine 64. On the white side is Hungarian chess grandmaster Andras Adorian and his opponent is Australian chess FIDE master Maxwell Fuller. This game was played back in 1975 in London. Adorian opened up with e4 to which Fuller answered with c5. We have the good old Sicilian defense and after a few more moves the razor sharp dragon variation appears on the board. Bishop e3, bishop g7, f3, a6. As you know in here the main two moves are castling kingside and knight c6 but in the game we have a6. A mixture of Nidorf and dragon but this is not considered to be an effective method of fighting against this type of a Yugoslav attack formation. Usually without much effort white is managing to gain advantage. Meanwhile we have an exchange of knights on d5, bishop b7, hitting on d5 but instead of thinking about the defense white undermined opponent's queenside pawn structure. b takes a4, rook takes a4 and black castled kingside. In case of bishop takes d5 white has this knight f5 move. And if g takes f5 then white is leaving black with a shattered pawn structure. Uh, that's why after rook takes a4 black made the solid castling kingside and this time we have h4 trying to organize a kingside attack as soon as possible. Queen d7 black is attacking white rook but according to stock which better was bishop takes d5. Of course in this case either black will uh, have a weakened pawn structure now in case wins the knight on f5 or will lose this dark squared bishop thus organizing the defense will become very difficult but this is what Stockfish suggests yes uh, instead in our game after h4 we have queen d7 rook a5 moving away the rook protecting the pawn and e5 d takes e6 f takes e6 h5 e5 is something which weakened the position further and yeah black is now in trouble e5 knight goes back on b3 here there is a strong move h takes g6 which is worth of taking into consideration it leads to complicated positions but uh, with a precise play white will win of course although calculating up to the end can be extremely difficult uh, that's why Adorian decided not to risk and instead made the solid knight b3 move. Queen e6, h takes g6, knight c6. Uh, h takes g6 is an alternative but black decided to uh, provoke g takes h7 in order to use this pawn as a shield. But in here instead of g takes h7 white made a brilliant move which just blew apart opponent's position. As we reached the critical position please pause the video and try to find the winning continuation for white. Ready? Well uh, we have to rely on the weakness of this diagonal. So in here on move 17 when black made this queen e6 move he aimed to stop bishop c4 check. That's why after h takes g6 knight c6 in order to get rid of this queen Adorian played an absolutely fantastic queen takes d6 move. Bang! A deflective move after which yeah, black's position collapses. All black could do was to accept the queen sacrifice and there comes bishop c4 check. Now if king h8 then rook takes h7 checkmate, this is simple, black played rook f7 and bishop takes f7 check, king f8, bishop c5 and now white will win back the sacrificed queen, h takes g6, bishop c4, first saving the bishop and yep yeah, this queen is pinned, it can't escape, rook takes c5 and white is an exchange, also a pawn up, right, yes, a5, bishop d5, knight knight d8 then bishop takes b7 and then rook c7 and yeah again white is dominating there is no way out this is winning black played a4 these are all desperate attempts i don't know 
yeah, this is not serious. Of course, Maxwell Fuller understands that his position is completely lost. He's just making a few more moves and only then will resign. So the knight on c6 also drops and finally at this point resignation followed. A nice attack by Andrea Sardorian and on the other hand of course I didn't like how Maxwell Fuller played this game. So that queen takes d6 move was something and I'm sure you will agree with me. Yeah, queen takes d6 is a monstrous deflective move. You won't see such a thing every day, right? In the end, the chess puzzle for you, as usual. White is winning. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.